This is going to be kind of a boring video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. As you can see, we're wearing the same shirts because I'm recording the last video on the same day I'm recording this one. I'm a hand lettering artist, a logo designer, and I make these videos online teaching you about the day in the life of my job as a logo designer. If you like the content that you see, press that red subscribe button down below, but also press that notification bell so you never miss an update. I have not wanted to do this video simply because it's so boring and easy to do. I like to challenge myself in my videos to do something fun. But for this one, you guys really wanted to know. So I'm going to be telling you today how I send all my files and how I I sort of make them organized on my computer, how I keep them safe and secure. So firstly, when I start doing a design for a client or when I'm commissioned by a client, I have a folder in my Creative Cloud assets. Now, if you don't know, Adobe have something called the Creative Cloud, where you have like 100 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes, I can't remember, of storage on the cloud where you can save your files so you can go back to your desktop or you can go on the internet and download these files you can share the files it's all stored in the cloud so if your hard drive gets corrupt then you have your files still there i automatically have a folder in my creative cloud files where it is called clients i then put the name of the client which is the company name not the contact name just the company so say if the contact's called steve and the company's called geckos for life because they sell geckos then i'm gonna put geckos for life so i remember the company name sounds like a weird lizard political movement that if you're also wondering this thing up here is actually a thing for live streaming with my phone. This is my overhead live streaming thing that we're going to be starting soon. Inside of this client's folder and in the subfolder with the client's name, I have all the files that I use for them, including the mood board, the links, any documents that I write, all goes in here and they are all labeled, sometimes pretty sporadically, spontaneously labeled. But as long as I have my files in there, it is all good. Now, the next step, I always make sure to do is to make sure that my files are all synced up to the creative cloud because otherwise I will not either get it on my desktop when I come to the office or I won't get it on my laptop when I leave the office if I just decide to work somewhere random the next day. I, I need to have them downloadable to the laptop or to the desktop. So wherever I work, I always have my files. Another thing I do is I take the client folder in the creative cloud and I copy it to a hard drive and replace it from the week one prior. What this does is it gives me that extra layer of protection so if Creative Cloud decides to break, which I don't think it ever will, but if it ever did, I have a solid state backup, something that's not on a cloud. So if the internet goes out, I can actually download it to my computer using my hard drives. This just gives me peace of mind really, even though I know I don't need to do it, it's just having that peace of mind. Okay, so that's how I store and organize all my files. Now, how do I send my finished files? Well, this is a difficult one to answer because it's always very different for different companies and different clients. Some clients want a presentation with the logo assets being sent to another design company. Some clients want the logo assets sent to them with no presentation. So this is all dependent, but what I always give is the number one thing, the Adobe Illustrator file. Now, regardless of whether your client has Adobe Illustrator, which they probably do not, you need to send them that file. Now, the way that I do this is I take all of the files that are necessary, including the previews, the mockups, all the presentations, and I organize them into one final folder with their name written on it. I clearly label all the folders with all the sub names to the folders so they can quickly look at the previews to see how the logo will look on this product or to see what the logo looks like like this, the branding guidelines, it's all clearly labeled for them to easily go into. I then also have a folder for the designers that they will be hiring. Now, if you know me, I don't really do graphic design in the sense of I don't do brochures or anything like that. If I ever offer them to a client, it's all down to me contracting someone out. I specifically work on logo designs and things of that nature like branding and hand lettering. So normally what a client company will do or an agency is they'll ask for these files and they will hand them over to someone else. So I put all of these vector files or Adobe be Australia files or Photoshop files or Procreate files into one folder 
clearly labeled for the other designer to see so they can take it and edit it as they choose. But the main things that I send to a client are just JPEGs of the logo. I show mock-ups sometimes. I show screen grabs sometimes. I may even do a bit of photo manipulation on the website to show them what the website could look like with the logo on it. But the main part of what you send to a client in the end is the actual finished product the presentation side of it is mainly during the design process to sell the design to the client. So it's not really about mock-ups or anything at this point. The client may want it to show a printing company how they want the stationery because they like what you've done with the mock-ups. But it's not a necessity. What you're sending to the client is the finished product, which is the logo or the branding or the design business cards whatever you're just sending them that finished product right at the end so they can have it to use guys thank you so much for watching this strangely weird video if you liked it press that red subscribe button down below with notification bell turned on also comment down below to let me know what you do to send your logos or your design work to your clients it'll be interesting for me to know i'd just like to compare myself with you and to see if i can grow from this i just want to give a huge shout out to freshbooks for sponsoring this video freshbooks is a cloud accounting service that i've used for about a year now where i gather up all my expenses send invoices and get paid even quicker if you've ever worked for a client you know that invoices can be a hell of a bad day especially when you've got to do a lot of them now freshbooks is great because it's got a mobile app i've used it for tons of invoices it makes everything super easy from reminding automatically your clients to pay from telling you whether a client's actually read or seen the invoice and at what time you can even email them directly through freshbooks as well which is pretty insane and you get paid even faster because they don't even have to do a paid wires transfer they can actually do it on the stripe thing at the top if you like 30 days of freshbooks for completely free risk free then click that link down below in the description but also let them know that will patterson me sent them to you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video see you soon